Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem the longest common subsequence. So this is also another uh, popular problem you will be seeing like multiple times and uh, using this approach also you will be you can solve uh, many uh, problems uh, that will be asked in uh, uh, competitive uh, coding or uh, interview. So let's uh, see how the problem works. A subsequence is a sequence that can be derived from another sequence by deleting some animal some elements without changing the order of the remaining elements longest common subsequence of two sequences is a subsequence with maximum maximal length which is common to both the sequence well this uh, explanation is not like explaining us uh, uh, many things maybe we could uh, see an example and uh, see how it works so we have to find the law lcs and print it as a line of uh, sa space separated uh, integers if there are like common multiple common uh, subsequence with the same maximum length print any one of them so here these are the constraints so n can go up to 100 and m can go up to 100 and uh, we have a and b uh, which can go up to 1000 so this is a pretty reasonable uh, constraint and uh, this is the sample uh, input uh, length of the n is 5 and length of m is 6 and you can see 1 2 3 and here 1 2 and 3 as a common subsequence so this 1 2 3 we have to print so that is the whole objective even if you have some intermediate digits we can either delete or uh, remove something so we have to keep track of the digits and uh, print wh whichever the common uh, subsequence and uh, we don't have any uh, uh, subsequence uh, larger than 3 so we'll be just returning 1 2 3 so let's solve the problem we are going to keep track of everything using uh, again that uh, dp variable so we'll be having like all possible uh, combinations uh, from it first we are going to find the length so first we have n equals len of a and uh, m that is len of b uh, this is just the lens of a and b and after that we will create the dp variable i'll just initialize it with zero zero means uh, we don't have any results that is stored so for uh, in range of n m plus one and uh, on the outside for j in range of n plus one and we are going to do the same for another uh, dp variable which stores the string so this will be e easier uh, if we are uh, keep on uh, maintaining uh, another uh, list uh, so this will have like an empty string so let's say if we are uh, adding 1 2 and 3 means uh, these intermediate results will be stored uh, in the string so we have initialized like two dp variables apart from this if you want to keep track it in a single string means you can have like a, a tuple like a zero and uh, that uh, empty string so that is also feasible but uh, i think this will be uh, making the code much more clear now let's dive into the main logic main logic now for i in range of n plus one and for i in range of m plus one so now uh, we have to compare whether a of i and b of i is same if it is same means we will be updating the logic so if a of i minus one sorry so we have to start from one here okay now a of i minus one equals b of j minus 1 this will be j check if both a and b character characters are same if it is same means we will be updating the dp variable dp of i and uh, j i'll just copy this so i can reuse it equals dp of i minus 1 and uh, j minus 1 
plus 1. So whatever the value we have uh, stored before, it will just increment it uh, by 1. And we will also need to update the string. So that will be dp underscore string equals dp underscore string of so whatever the previous value that is stored I'll just add a space and uh, string of a of i minus 1 so let's say if I already stored 1 in the previous variable and uh, we are uh, getting uh, 2 here means we'll be like saving 1 space 2 just to keep track of the intermediate result okay if the element is not same if bo a and b not same then again if dp of i minus j is uh, less than again dp of uh, i j minus 1 so if you consider a matrix uh, we are considering either the uh, left side of the current uh, element or the top of the current element so this will be like a top of the current element and this will be the left side of the current element uh, so let's say I am uh, creating a matrix here so I am currently here means I am just comparing these two uh, previous value so whichever is uh, greater I'll just uh, store it here and uh, compute further. So this is i j minus 1 and this is i minus 1 j. So if this is greater, I'll just store it in the dp variable. And I also need to update the string. So string equals again dp of uh, string minus 1 okay so if uh, this is a greater uh, number means else dp of ij equals dp of i minus 1 j and we have to do the same thing here dp str of i and uh, j equals dp str of i minus 1 j and finally we'll be returning dp of string of minus 1 minus 1 so this will be the like a last uh, element in the two dimensional array so this will contain the uh, result so maybe we could uh, trace the problem let's run the code once just to check whether everything is uh, working fine or not okay I think okay this is here and one more thing here we have to remove the uh, space sometimes it causes some uh, uh, errors in the result now let's run this again okay this is dp of str again let's run it hope this works okay now it passed all the sample test cases okay I guess uh, this is the small sample uh, we have got So this will be like a 5 cross uh, 6 so I have to create the uh, matrix maybe I'll just use the paint for this case it will be easier so I have to create 5 cross 6 then it will be like a 6 cross uh, 7 1 
okay we have 6 cross 7 okay we have uh, we need another one forgive me uh, it's somewhat difficult using the mouse drawing the paint if I have some pen means it will be much easier now so everything will be like initialized with uh, 0 so I just need uh, to fill all the 0th index with 0 so in the first case um, we are comparing like 1 and 3 uh, based on the index I am saying so I will also have this numbers just for the comparison okay now we are comparing with the uh, first previous uh, index that is uh, we are if we are starting from 1 so this will be like a, a of i minus 1 and this will be b of i minus 1 both are not equal so we have to choose either one of them so either of them is 0 so we will be just updating it as uh, 0 and uh, 1 will remain same and uh, we will keep on iterating uh, to these values so for 4 it is also again 0 and for 1 in this case it will be matching so we will be appending it with 1 and uh, for these cases we have to you have to keep track of the string as well so don't forget about it I am just uh, tracing only the numbers and uh, we have 2 that is not matching so it will be uh, 1 or uh, 0 so this will be 1 and we are uh, matching with 1 again so that will be the previous value is 0 so it will be 1 and 3 is not matching so it will be the previous value is 1 uh, based on this condition so this will be 1 and for the second number we have 2 so this will be 0, 0, 1 0, 0, 1 when we reach this 2 it will be matching from the previous uh, index will be like uh, adding 1 so this will be 2 and uh, these numbers won't match 1 and 3 won't match so whichever the is bigger we will just uh, add it here and we have like uh, two matching characters that is 1 and 2 is matched so again we are going with 3 so 3 is matching so 3 is matching so we will have 1 and uh, all the other things is not matching until the end so we will have 1 1 2 2 only in the last element we are uh, getting a match of 3 so we will be updating with the previous uh, element so this will be like 3 so we have got the 3 matches see how we are uh, updating the elements from the previous uh, indices so if there is a match means we are uh, getting the value from the diagonal if there is no match means whichever the top or the left side value whichever is higher we are uh, updating with that element so we are going for 4 4 is not matching here so this will be like 1 and 4 matches here so this will be uh, 2 for 4 again none of the things matches so whichever is higher we will be just uh, concatenating uh, through it so 2 2 2 and here 3 so whatever the value that is stored in 3 it will be copied here and for again 1 we have to add uh, first 2 will remain the same so this will be 1 and this will be 2 and 1 will be matched again so this will be like 3 and uh, 2 is not matching we will have 3 and again 1 is matching so we will update 1 
using this three and finally three is not matching whichever the whichever it is uh, higher we will uh, keep it here three so using this case you could observe so in this three we will be storing that uh, one two three that is the final result so um, compared to these two if both are same means we are uh, we have to give high preference to this particular uh, uh, value that is uh, the top element will be given high priority that's why we are checking this first so if it is uh, both are equal means we are considering this value to be saved here in that way we will be storing that uh, result so this will be returned actually this result was found here but uh, uh, using this logic we are uh, keep on traversing the previous result and finally we are uh, returning the result here which contains 1, 2 and 3. So this is how the DP table will look like and the string table whichever the values you are storing from the previous index it will keep on uh, traversing. So here you will be keeping it as 1 and here 1, 1, 1 and when you are reaching here you will be having like 1 and 2 and when you are reaching here you will be having 1, 2 and 3. So this is how it works. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, this is the actual uh, algorithm. There is like not many changes. So let's submit the code. If you have any queries regarding this video, please leave a comment below. Apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for uh, more videos like this. I think this test case I don't know how much time it takes okay it everything is solved successfully and I also said everything so see you guys in the next video